all right so let's start with uh, some definition first so let's start with what what is the meaning of linear combination of vectors so a linear combination of k vectors u1 u2 till uk is a vector of the form c1 into u1 plus c2 into u2 plus ck into uk where of course c1 c2 and ck belong to the set of real numbers so for example let's take and uh, let's take a more real example um, so say the vector 1 0 4 all right now this is a linear combination of two vectors 2 3 5 and 1 2 2 and you can say and you can see why this is the case because if you multiply 2 into the first vector and minus 3 into the second vector and you can see that this will this this vector operation will result in this original vector 104 all right so let's see if let's let's take another example so let's say if let's see if the vector 3 2 0 6 is a linear combination of say 1 5 6 8 and let's say minus 1 2 3 1 all right so for this vector to be a linear combination of these two vectors there must exist two scalars c1 and c2 such that c1 into this vector plus c2 into this vector must result in this vector 3 2 0 6 so let me simplify the rhs here and and by now you of course you know you know how can we uh, simplify rhs here so it would be c1 plus sorry c1 minus c2 and 5c1 plus 2c2 then 6c1 plus 3c2 and the last element here would be 8c1 plus c2 and this should be equal to 3 2 0 6 now we already know that if two vectors are equal they need to have the same number of components and their respective elements have to be equal so with this we can form the following equations so c1 minus c c2 has to be equal to 3 and 5 c1 plus 2 c2 has to be equal to 2 and 6 c1 plus 3 c2 has to be equal to 0 and and 8 c1 plus c2 has to be equal to 6 all right so from equation 3 this guy we get c2 equal to minus 2 c1 right and from equation 1 we'll get c1 is equal to c2 plus 3 and we already know what c2 is right from equation 3 so we can plug in the value here so this will become minus 2 c1 plus 3 so you know using these two equations, we can see that c1 will be 1 and c2 will be minus 2 so let's check if these values of c1 and c2 satisfy other equations so let's see the fourth equation all right so 8 into c1 will become 8 into 1 and plus c2 so c2 is minus 2 so this will be 6 so this equation is satisfied by uh, this c1 and c2 value let's check if the equation 2 is also satisfied so 5 into c1 it's 5 and this becomes minus 2 into 2 so this is 1 and this is not equal to 2 right this is not equal to 2 so 
so what it effectively means here is that uh, there are no scalars c1 and c2 for which this equation can hold true and hence 3 2 0 6 this vector can never be expressed as a linear combination of these two guys these two vectors all right a related concept here is called span so let me write it down it's called span and span of vectors u1 u2 you know till un is a set is a set so let's call that set s and it's a set of all linear combination of these vectors so this set will have vectors of the form c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus cn un such that c1 c2 and cn belong to the set of real numbers and uh, it's easy to see right so span of course will uh, always contain the zero vectors zero vector because you can actually put c1 equal to c2 equal to cn and you can actually make all these scalars zero here and what you will get is a zero vector the span of a single vector say u all right uh, this will be the set au such that a belongs to the set of real numbers and this set basically contains all the scalar multiples of u okay so if let's say u be one two three then the uh, span of this vector u will be all the scalar multiples of one two three so it will be two into u three into u you know where and this number can be anything 